أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما نافعا I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to always guide us and to teach us that is beneficial for us in this life and in the hereafter Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen My dear brothers and sisters uh, indeed every one of us is looking for a happy life indeed every one of us is wishing for the Jannah indeed every one of us is working hard and trying to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed every one of us wants to have a peaceful heart indeed every one of us is working hard to have a happy family and to have a peaceful mind at work and to be protected from the diseases and from the sickness and from the poverty and every bad thing that may inflict the person uh, my dear brothers and sisters indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us every cure for everything and gave us every guide for everything and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create us and ignore us he guided us he gave us the Quran and he sent us the messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to show us exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directs us for a happy life and that is all in there you just need to pay attention listen to this ayah man amila salihan min dhakarin aw untha wa huwa mu'min falanuhyiyannahu hayatan tayyibah شرطان أساسيان للحياة الطيبة الحياة الطيبة التي تشمل السعادة وتشمل القناعة وتشمل الأمن وتشمل دخول الجنة هذه الحياة لها شرطان أولا الإيمان بالله سبحانه وتعالى وثانيا العمل الصالح على نهج النبي my dear brothers and sisters two main conditions for a peaceful life for a happy life for contentment for peace and serenity of the heart for entering the Jannah and going to Jannah for everything that you can think about happiness even if you are inflicted with the worst calamities two things you have to do strongly believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and act upon that belief act upon that belief with righteous deeds amen men Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala call wa huwa mu'min you do righteous while you are a believer that's all it takes Wallahi looking around and seeing the precautions people take and the fear and the anxiety that people live in and the hard work that they're doing and how they become happy for any worldly thing and how they panic and how they give up and how they complain and how they spend their time it is all for this life and living a happy life and they are ignoring the main and the most important thing the purpose of their creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship him and if you worship him you will have that beautiful life you will have the Jannah that you promised. Look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it. We will surely give him a wonderful, happy life. 
whatever happiness means to you, you get it. If it's in wealth, you get it. In health, you get it. In peace, you get it. In everything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you the qana'ah, the contentment of what you have, regardless of what situation you are in. Brothers and sisters, understand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. Brothers and sisters, understand the guidance of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and understand the importance of the sunnah. Brothers and sisters, always reflect and always think in every letter of the hadith and the ayah. Always believe in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will surely give him a happy life. Is that it? No. And we will reward them and give them the promised hereafter reward with the best of what they have been doing, which is the Jannah. This is your objective. Your objective is the Jannah. Focus on your objective. You will have the Jannah and you will have the happy life that people are working day and night, Muslim and non-Muslim, obedient and disobedient to gain. That's all you have to do. Think of that ayah and think of what you see around us. Everything that you see around us aiming for staying alive. And once you stay alive, you want to be happy and you know you're gonna die. No one, hardly anyone thinks of the hereafter. Brothers and sisters, put the hereafter directly in front of you. Wallahi, you will live happy here and happy there. Put it behind you. Wallahi, you're going to be miserable here and more miserable over there. Man amila salihan min dhakirin aw untha wa huwa mu'min fala nuhyiyannahu hayatan tayyibah. ولنجزينهم أجرهم بأحسن ما كانوا يعملون أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يهدينا وإياكم وأن يرزقنا هذه الحياة الطيبة وأن يرزقنا الجنة آمين جزاكم الله خيرا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته